Welcome to RadicalWellnessTV.com. This is Laura Lee and I'm here to help you with some tips and ideas on how to take care of yourself proactively and naturally. We're talking about teenagers today. This is a different part series, Navigating the Teen Years. It's the Office of National Drug Control Policy. National Youth and Anti-Drug Media Campaign is who put this book out, a parent's handbook for raising healthy teens. Anyway, I'm on principle two, which is to guide your teen. Um, actually, I just did guide your teen. Now I'm going to be going to monitoring your teens. Kids can't always be counted on to do the right thing. Just think back to your own teenage years. Many of us made choices that make us cringe today, and we're thankful that we escaped serious harm. Those experiences should be a potent reminder that it's always good to trust your teens, but also to verify that they've done that they've told what they've told you. This is more where monitoring comes in. Monitoring is keeping tabs on your teenagers. It includes knowing where they are, whom they are with, what they are doing, and when they will be home. It means asking questions, having your teens check in with you regularly, and checking up, them, up on them as well. As teens get more involved in activities away from home, you have further opportunities to direct, su directly supervise them. Think about monitoring as plugging into the different areas of your teen's life, including school, work, peers, after-school activities, and adult relationships, and free time. Sometimes it's a process of communication, and other times it means comparing notes with other adults in your teen's life, or observing your teen, like watching for changes in behavior. It's true that some teens will resent being monitored, but they generally understand and respect monitoring, especially in the long term. Your job as a parent is to communicate and be respectful. Here are some tips. Number one, let your teens know you will be monitoring so they know what to expect. Number two, if you suspect your teen is getting into trouble, make occasional super surprise visits to confirm your teen is where he or she is actually supposed to be. If your teen is visiting a friend, call the friend's house. Let your teen know you may do this from time to time. <laughs> Number three, be respectful. Very important. Ask, don't interrogate your teen about activities and whereabouts. Don't make them guilty before they, you hear this side of the story. Okay. Anyway, number one, two, three, four. Have a standing rule of no parents, no party. So your teens understand they are not allowed at any party without adult supervision. Number five, get involved in your teen's school and activities. Six, get to know other adults in your teen's life, including teachers, coaches, neighbors, employers, parent, and parents of your teen's friends. Use this network to compare notes about how your teen is doing. Number seven, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Check in with your teens about their spending and where their money is going. That's a good one. Eight, monitor your teen's physical and mental health and watch for signs of problems. Number nine, check in with and on your teens at home as well. Monitor your medicine cabinet to see if your teens have been using your prescription or, or over-the-counter drugs, such as cough medicines or drugs that contain DXM. And remember, some teens help themselves to their parents' supply of alcoholic beverages. Number 10, require your teens to check in with you when they get home at night. This serves as a deterrent to alcohol, tobacco, and illicit drug use because your teens know they will have to say goodnight. It also gives you an opportunity to check in for signs of use, such as odors on clothing. 11. Let teens know that safety is a priority and they ever feel uns and if they ever feel unsafe, they can call you. Always. Always give them a ride. Always make sure they're okay. Number 12. Be aware of messages in popular cultures that encourage alcohol, tobacco, or illicit drug use. Monitor your teens' use of movies, television, the internet, and other media. That's easier said than done. Number 13, be vigilant about your teen's activities online. Teens are easily able to order prescription medications from online pharmacies. Check the websites your teen has visited and track purchases made with a credit card. <clears throat> my parents keep pretty close tabs. My friends' parents are all my mom's friends, so they cross-check with each other. A teen from Texas, lucky girl. Anyway, there is more about monitoring, but I need to break this into a part two thing. Anyway, love life and life will love you back. I hope that helps monitoring your teenager. I haven't thought of some of these ideas. Anyway, we want to keep them safe in this concrete jungle. Anyway, please like and share and ring the bell and comment.